You'll love the switch from cakey brownies when you try this light colored, caramely, nutty, buttery cookie bar. Chef Leslie Summerdorf has been working on these in the Harmon's Kitchen and brings them our way today. Hi, how are you? Oh my God, well, I'm good now, now that I see this. These light colors are a welcome change from brownies. Although, you know what, Leslie, I have to tell you, I'm gonna be the toughest one com to convince <laughs> on this because as my family can attest, uh -huh. brownies every night. Oh, <gasps> really? Yeah, so prove oh, me wrong. Oh boy. And, what, and this is lovely. Well, I'm just gonna say macadamia nuts. <laughs> Look at this, this is like the mother <laughs> load. Can I just say, They're Leslie, a little expensive. I woke up and Leslie it. says to me, $66. Yeah. So I know. Your people are worth it. Your people are That's worth right. it. That's right. Remember They're this. They're worth it, and those are delicious. Yes. Okay, so here, Tell I'm gonna make the dough these. first, and then we're gonna make the filling, oh, okay? And it's so so our end result is absolutely delicious. So I've just got some flour in here, okay? And the exact measurements are on your website. You've yep. got, okay, you've got it in there. Yep. All right. And then I've got some sugar. I'm gonna put in a little okay. bit of salt. Just now we're gonna have salt. to do a little bit of Magic TV here, so I'm gonna okay. go real fast. Magical TV. Shh. Okay, <laughs> fast, that was blended. <laughs> Look at that, okay. people. Woo! Cold <laughs> butter, real cold butter, because if you have warm butter, then okay. you're gonna have a really tough crust. Okay. So you're, cold butter. Why is that? Is well, that because the, yes, about? because the water will evaporate, okay. and that is bad. We want the water to evaporate in the oven, not in your hands. So interesting, I never knew that. Yeah. But the food processor does a trick, because sometimes yes. I think it gets lumpy. Well, you can use a pastry cutter in. if you want to, a dough cutter. Okay. You know, it just depends on how much of a workout you want. I, I want this workout. Can I, I just had one? a birthday last week, and I could use a little bit of a workout, but apparently <laughs> I'm using Plus technology. Like, like a million bucks. <laughs> okay, I'd use so I'm putting too. in a little bit of, okay. uh, of um, water, and then I'm also putting in some vanilla. Some vanilla. Okay. So, um, now, I'm not telling you the exact amount of water because okay. it changes depending on the weather outside. It really, really does. It could be anywhere between two tablespoons, four tablespoons, six tablespoons. The so goal is you want a ball. making it in the summer, yeah. obviously you're... It might be less or it might be or more. more. right? Because exactly. it's dry outside? Yep. So we want this to become a ball. Okay. We're just gonna let so it go. So we just kind of watch the consistency. You're adding yes. a little bit of time. Listen to it. Can you hear it? It's kind of working a little harder. Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, hold on. It Still not. Don't hate me, people. At least I someone's hate, getting I hate no magic of TV right now. Right? Yes. <laughs> in the meantime, let's make the filling. <laughs> okay. Leslie, you're plenty entertaining for put all of some, this. Put some cream in okay. here kindly. I am adding the cream, the whole That's thing. That's two cups, yeah. Two you gotta do it. This cream. is the filling. All right, and this pan is nice and hot. Yep. Fill it. Then we're gonna put in some sugar. Then a little bit of sugar. Ooh, this is all the good now, stuff. Now, you can use RUM, but you, I'm using orange juice because oh, I like the taste okay, of orange fine, juice. Fine, it gives fine, it fine. a nice zing. Okay, so you can do rum or orange juice. Yep, and then up. salt. And then am I mixing? Yep. Excellent. Oh, look at that, we're salt. done. Okay, look at that. Nice I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Dough. Okay. As soon as this comes to a boil, you wanna stir constantly until it comes to a boil. Then okay. you're gonna not touch it so anymore. We're not burning things. There's a little bit of candy work going on. Ooh. I need to cook it until it's can 235 say, degrees. Candy work is so intimidating to me. Well, anything that requires that's a thermometer why you feels need like a thermometer. Be in the yeah, but okay. it's okay. You need right. a thermometer. Fine, you keep we'll doing that. It. I'm coming over here because Excellent. look, my my dough has become a ball. So I'm going to put Ooh. it out on a light, lightly floured surface, and then I just want to bring that. it into a ball. Okay, and I really want to kind of touch it as little as possible. But the goal is I want to roll it out into a rectangle because I have a little jelly jelly roll pan that I've buttered. I could put parchment on it if I wanted to, but then I want to go ahead and roll this out to like a half of an inch thickness. Oh, just bag it, people. Let's just throw that puppy in <laughs> throw there. That baby We're just gonna in. mash this in here, okay? <laughs> so once you get it into a nice flat uh, into the sheet pan, you want to go a 400 degree oven 400. for about 10 minutes to kind of par cook this crust. Okay. okay, so so par cook, not all the way through, but just kind of give Correct. it a Correct, so, oh, oh okay, gotcha. I just put it in the oven and I'm back. Magic. I reduce my oven TV to 350. Magic. This okay. has cooked for 10 minutes and has now come to 235 degrees, at which point okay. I add my macadamia nuts, cook for two more minutes, pour into my already cooked filling, and then go back in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. Okay, so Leslie, give it. Then you're look. done. Whoa, these that are, was a lot. These are going in whole? You could coarsely chop them if you wanted I like to, the whole idea. but I kind of went, yeah, I went gonzo. So yeah, that's it. Goodness and then I drizzled a little bit of, I actually, I cheated. Okay, usually I don't melt oh, I chocolate see. chips because there's soy lecithin in these guys. Okay. And that's why they don't really like to melt. That's why you have a whole chip in there, right? You know right. what I mean, you keep the yes. chip. So, but I use this guitar all the time, semi-sweet. So I put it in a little, look at this cute little nug. So this I is just use a little plastic bag trick. and I just trim the end. Look at that. And then Lovely. I just drizzle it on top of my jelly pan and, and then cut them into little bites. So yeah, let's you need to try it, get in there. And at Harmon's, tell us about oh. all of the selection. I wow. know because you know I kind of went a little crazy. My personal favorite. 
Yes. Harmon's right by my house. These every day. These Love are, these. I like bags. the blackouts. I'm kind of personal oh, to the too. blackouts. But, but my they do have the salted peanut butter. caramel or the peanut butter. Yep. Peanut butter is amazing. Now, I've got to tell you, we've got some cooking classes coming up okay. that teach you how to make tell the macaron. Awesome. Macaron, the French version, right? Fabulous. Not the coconut Natural version, home. the real we'll version. The real version. Yes. Leslie, thank you so You're much. Welcome. This looks absolutely lovely. Love I made it. a mess. Excellent. I mean, that, that means it tastes better, right? Yeah. Messes mean better. Thanks so much. You're Leslie. welcome.